Now, recently, FBI Director James Comey dropped a bombshell on the Hillary Clinton campaign when he announced that he would be reviewing thousands of Clinton emails related to the investigation over the use of Clinton's private email server. Now, uh, the emails were, strangely enough, found in Anthony Weiner's phone? That's weird. Um, now, his phone was being investigated for something completely different. And those emails were found during that investigation, a uh, completely different investigation, which involved him allegedly texting a minor, a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> classy. That, that's classy wiener, let me tell you. But uh, what do you expect from a guy whose last name is a dick? Okay. <laughs> There's another name for a dick. Uh, now, weird story, right? So this comes out, and a lot of right-wingers, and there are some left-wingers too, who despise Hillary Clinton, and hey, look, I fall into that camp, uh, mistakenly believe that Comey reopened his investigation. Turns out, that's not true. They didn't reopen the investigation, and this is just, I don't know why he sent that, that letter. Because there was no open investigation. In fact, the FBI, when, when Comey announced this, the FBI hadn't even had a chance to read those emails before he wrote that letter. So making it very likely, in my opinion, that this thing was simply political in nature. Oh, come on, like Jeff, come on. A, a politician playing politics? No. Yes. Unfortunately. Now, I have some uh, facts backed up by Comey's own letter. Now, he, uh, in a new report, Comey sent a, a, a letter to Congress notifying members that after reviewing those new batch of, that new batch of emails to and from Hillary Clinton, the Bureau has, quote, not changed our conclusions that we expressed in July with respect to Hillary Clinton. Now, what conclusions? What does that mean? It means there's no indictment. It means there's no there there. Basically, the email thing, kind of over at least when it comes to the private server. Now look, as I said, I despise Clinton, but I happen to also be in favor of facts and reality. So if the FBI didn't find anything, well, they didn't find anything, and that's it. And look, these emails, don't confuse this with WikiLeaks, right? Now WikiLeaks, these Podesta emails, they prove that both the Clinton campaign, uh, and of course there's also uh, some speculation that the Trump campaign as well, are breaking campaign finance law. In the Podesta emails, you pretty much had them saying, boy, this looks pretty shady, man. I think we might be breaking the law with this, with our coordinating with uh, correct the record. So there's proof. There is something there in the Podesta emails. That's why we've been covering it. Now, it also shows the systemic corruption that has essentially been legalized in our political system thanks to the, uh, of course, gigantic impact of money in politics. Now, there are a lot of emails, right? WikiLeaks has released hundreds of thousands of emails. Some of them are inane. There's, there's cooking recipes, whatever, right? But there are also a lot of different emails that were incredibly important. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, me, Jordan Sheridan, Kyle Kalinske, all of us, we happen to cover these because of what was in them and how it exposes the corruption uh, and, of course, what happened to Bernie Sanders in the primary and how he got screwed by the DNC. But see, that's WikiLeaks. That's the Podesta emails. That's something completely different than what Comey was talking about, which is the emails in the private server. On those emails, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Now, why do I say that? Because if there were something there to hit Hillary Clinton on, would they have not announced it? With the a, a day before the election. And they've got nothing. If there were something, there would be something. They would say something. It would give the Donald Trump campaign a huge advantage. Is there anything there? No. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. So, here's the thing, right? So, look. I know a lot of people are going to be upset about James, uh, over James Comey. you got to remember, this guy, he's a loyal Republican. See, the Republican establishment has largely lined up behind Donald Trump. Do you remember all those people after the 
uh, you know, the, the grab by the pussy comments came out. And they were like, I unendorsed Trump. Nearly all of those people have re-endorsed Trump. Republican outrage, what are you talking about? No, no, no. They've fallen in line. They're in line now. With the exception, of course, uh, the Bushes, John Kasich, Mitt Romney. So, other than those people who were never on Team Trump to begin with, well, those people are the ones that aren't lining up. The rest of the Republican establishment, Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is still on board. He's still saying, oh, we, you know, even though the FBI didn't find anything, that this is still bad, and I still endorse Trump. Because he's likely, because it's possible that he's going to win this. And they want to get in good with the possible President Trump. They're not going to fight him. You think the Republican establishment is going to turn against Trump and fight him? No, no, no. They're going to fall behind him. They're going to fall in line. You know why? Because Donald Trump wants what they want. <laughs> lower taxes on corporations. Which means, for Donald Trump, lower taxes on myself and my businesses. Less regulation. More oil. You think they're going to fight against that? Because he's Donald Trump? No! They're on team... Like, the Republican establishment is on Team Trump. So, the whole Comey thing... I think this is nothing more than James Comey playing politics to influence this election. If you had something in merit... I would have loved to have heard it. If there were something in these emails that would have been devastating to Hillary Clinton, I would have reported on this. I would have loved to report on it. Not because I want Donald Trump to win. It's because I want to get the facts out there. Not to play politics. Not to get someone elected or to not get someone elected. But to, to, to stay true to the facts. And the fact is, is that Comey and these emails, they got nothing. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent, non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.